Hey everyone, so let's talk about a problem that, you know, pretty much every data scientist runs into. You've built this amazing machine learning model, it's sitting right there in your notebook, but there's this huge, massive gap between that and a real-world application that actually does something. Today, we're going to talk about how to bridge that gap. Right, so you've done it, you've wrestled with the data, you've trained the model, and the results, they look fantastic. But then comes that big sinking question, okay, now what? How do you actually get this incredible work out of the notebook and into a system that people can use that can actually provide some value? This is the exact point where so many great projects just hit a wall. And this slide, it just lays out the problem perfectly. Over on the left, you've got the world we all know, experimental notebooks. They're great for exploring, but let's be honest, they're often messy, they're super difficult for anyone else to reproduce, heck, even for you to reproduce six months from now. It's isolated work that, way too often, just becomes a dead end. But on the right, that's where we want to be, building structured, maintainable, versioned, and scalable software. That is the notebook to production gap. And that's exactly what this is all about. This MLOps coding course, it's designed to be the bridge that takes you from the kind of organized chaos on the left side of that slide to the clean professional world on the right. It's about learning to think and build like a software engineer, but specifically for machine learning. So what's the core mission here? Well, it's pretty simple and super clear. It's all about transforming your projects from those one-off experiments into software that is reliable and actually ready for production. And look, this is about way more than just writing more code. It's about adopting a whole new mindset, the practices of machine learning operations, or MLOPS, to build systems that are built to last. So who's this really for? Well, it's tailor-made for you, the data scientist, who wants to take that next massive step and actually deploy your own models. It's also perfect for software developers who are making the move into the AI space. And, you know, it's great for current AI and ML engineers who are looking to standardize their workflows and just build things more efficiently. If any of that sounds like you, you're definitely in the right place. Okay, so how do you actually get there? The course lays out a really clear seven-step journey. And I want to be clear, this isn't just some random collection of tutorials. It's a structured, logical roadmap that's going to guide you from a totally blank screen to a fully deployed and monitored ML system. Let's just quickly walk through this journey, right? It all starts with initializing, getting your professional dev environment set up correctly. Then comes prototyping, the part you're probably super familiar with. But the real change, the real transformation, starts in step three productionizing. This is where we turn that messy prototype into a clean, structured package. From there, we make sure it's high quality through validating, we improve the whole process with refining, we make it accessible by sharing it, and finally, we make sure it keeps running smoothly with observability. Now, what I think is really cool is how you learn all this stuff. The philosophy behind the course is designed to build up your skills step by step so you can avoid that awful feeling of being overwhelmed. And instead, you actually build real, genuine confidence. And it all comes down to this really simple but incredibly powerful mantra. First, make it work. Just build something that functions. Get it to solve the core problem. Seriously, no perfection needed. Then, once it's working, you make it right. You go back, you refactor, you apply best practices, and you build a clean, maintainable system. Only then, once it's working and it's well-structured, do you finally make it fast and start optimizing for performance. This approach, honestly, is the key to taming complexity. And this quote, this is so important. The MLOps landscape is always changing, right? There are new tools, new platforms popping up all the time. This course focuses on the fundamentals, the things that don't change. You're not just learning one specific trendy tool, you're gaining these durable, adaptable skills that are going to serve you for your entire career, no matter what technology comes along next. Of course, principles are great, but you need the right tools to put them into practice, and, you know, some real support when you inevitably get stuck. So let's take a look at what the course provides to make sure you actually succeed. You are going to get your hands dirty with the powerful, open-source tools that professionals are using every single day.
We're talking UV for dependency management that's just ridiculously fast. You'll master PyTest for rock-solid testing so you can actually trust your code. You'll track everything with MLflow, and you'll automate all your quality checks with pre-commit hooks. These are the tools that let you build like a pro. And for those moments when you do get stuck, which, let's be real, we all do, the course comes with a specialized MLOps coding assistant. Now, unlike a general purpose AI that might give you a generic or, even worse, a totally misleading answer, this assistant is fine-tuned specifically on the course material. It's context-aware, it understands the projects you're working on, and it gives you safe, relevant answers that are grounded in the best practices you're actually learning. So you see, you're never just left on your own to figure things out. You have this complete support system. There's personal one-on-one -on -one mentoring for that really personalized guidance, the instant help from the AI assistant, and a huge library of open source projects you can use as templates and references. It's the whole package. Because at the end of the day, learning these skills, it isn't just some academic exercise. It's about building your career. It's about becoming a more effective, more valuable engineer. So let's just ask the big question, right? Why should you invest your time to really master MOOPs? What's the actual payoff here? Well, the payoff is huge. You're gonna build systems that you can actually trust, systems that can scale. You'll finally be able to speak the same language as your software engineering colleagues and collaborate in a meaningful way. And most importantly, you'll break free from that notebook dead end and start creating tangible, real-world value. All of this, it directly accelerates your career growth and opens up a ton of new opportunities. This course is that bridge that lets you move from just theory to real impact, from a cool experiment to a production system. It equips you with the fundamental skills to not just be a part of the AI revolution, but to actually help lead it. So I guess the only question left is, are you ready to build what's next?